Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing high CPU usage by the state repository service on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu, type in services, Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to locate the state repository service. Right here. So go ahead and double click on that. If server status is running, you want to go ahead and just stop that. Select yes if it prompts you that's going to close anything else. And then select start again. And now see if that has resolved the problem. So select OK, close out of here. Close out of here. And that should hopefully be able to resolve it. Another thing you can try would be to run a few commands in the command prompt. So we're going to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and just select yes. Now we're going to have a few commands in the description of the video. We're going to run each one one at a time. And the first one is a DISM command. So there's actually two DISM commands in the description of the video, but we're going to run the first one first. And just copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste it in give it a moment here And once you have a blinking cursor and it says that the operation completed successfully, you want to go do the next command in here. So again, same way we did the first one, we're going to paste it in, hit enter. And now it should take a couple minutes here, so it shouldn't be too bad. And we're just going to wait for this and then we're going to run another one once this one is done.
And once that one is done, we're going to run the third command here. You can just type it in, or if you want to copy and paste it, you're welcome to. I'm just going to type it in because it's pretty simple. Just SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. It should be a forward slash in front of the scan now here. Hit enter your keyboard to run that, and it will begin to run. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the whole process of that because generally speaking, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory at this point, just like the other commands. Would suggest you guys do restart your computer once you're done, and that should hopefully be about it. So once you're done, hopefully restart the system and the problem should be resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.